Welcome to the Microsoft Office 2010 version. We're going to be taking a first look here at our Microsoft Excel just to kind of give you an idea of generally what's changed with Microsoft Office in this new 2010 version. The most obvious change and probably the most shocking change for a lot of people is this new toolbar up here at the top. It's called the Ribbon Interface. The Ribbon. And it contains a lot of large icons but it mostly the things that you were used to seeing before they're there just in a totally different format you can kind of see they're grouped little groups like for instance you've got clipboard and in that little group you've got cut paste and copy and cut uh, you have the little arrows here that give you more options if you mouse over them you can kind of see uh, what you get if you click there uh, you know we got the font group and if you mouse over that it'll give you a little bit of a, of a hint of what's left on that toolbar so those are those are major changes now there, these these rib, this ribbon interface is tabular so if you look at the top here if I click on the insert I get a whole totally different ribbon and it's all contextual to the tab so if I go to formulas you'll notice that I've got things that are pertain to formulas now one big change that they've made is this file menu. It's now called the backstage view. If you click on the file menu you'll notice that you have some of the popular commands that used to be on this file menu like save, save as, open, close. But you've also got these other things down here. So it's kind of a hybrid between what used to be on the file menu in Excel 2003 and also what used to be on the tools menu in Excel 2003. For instance you can go through here and look at the recent you can go to the new, uh, you can do sample templates which is kind of nice, you can go um, instead of reinventing the wheel you may want to use something that's built into Excel. I'm going to hit the back button here. You can also uh, go to office.com templates, you can do searches. So for instance if I'm looking for types of budgets it'll go out there on office.com and search for pre-made personal budget kind of sheets that different people have made so you know it, it saves reinventing the wheel click on the print tab you'll notice that you get a little bit of a preview of how it's going to look this huge print button no mistaking that uh, you can get your printer properties and some different settings the save and send tab this is where you can email as an attachment or you can change the file type for instance if you wanted to send to somebody and you weren't sure they had the same version of Excel you did you can save it down to this Excel 97 2003 which I think is a polite thing to do. You can also create PDFs straight from Excel now which is really nice. The help menu is great. Uh, one thing Microsoft has done right it seems like is getting the help menus uh, and the help videos and things like that are really nice. Then you've got your options tab which basically is like what used to be going to tools and options and it's basically just the main settings for the program click OK you notice it took me back to our main window so if I go back to backstage view uh, you'll notice if I hit exit that that'll take us right out of the program let's click on the home tab that'll get us out of that backstage view uh, one thing I want you to notice is this little bar up here at the top now by default it only has these three buttons here or these four buttons here the redo undo save um, buttons and you'll notice though that you have this little black arrow well what this is for is if you have popular buttons for instance you may be spell checkers what you want up there in my instance I chose new and open to be up there and what this means is this quick access bar these buttons never move so no matter what view I'm in those buttons stay the same which is kinda nice if you just don't want to go digging for buttons uh, that you normally use then you can use that right there alright let's take a look at some of the other features contextual menus is a big one I'm going to go highlight this little this little spreadsheet I've made here and I want to make a chart out of it so what I want to do is I'm going to go over here to the insert menu or the insert tab and there's all kinds of different options you have and one of them is column so I'm going to click on column and I'm just going to choose a 3d column you notice it automatically went out there and nicely color coded it. That's one of the things I really like about uh, 2010 is, is the color codes or, the, or the, the color schemes, I guess I should say. You can also 
click on more and get some really nice looking ones you know that have like three dimensional looks to them uh, just there's a lot of nice look and feel kind of stuff going on with uh, 2010 I'm gonna move this chart over just a little bit now one thing you'll notice once I'm in this chart view up here at the top you'll see where it says chart tools now if I click outside keep your eyes up there watch looking at that chart tools I'm gonna click outside this chart and you'll notice that all that menu went away it's called a contextual menu when you're not working in it they hide it but to get it back you just simply click on the chart and you're back to it you've got your layouts so this is where you can change your axes you can work with grid lines data labels I mean you have all the options that you could ever want formatting if you want to change things like colors uh, shapes and things of that nature and then the design and once I click outside of that that contextual menu goes away now this is something that you're going to have in uh, Word, uh, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, Outlook, they're all using this same contextual feature. Another nice feature I like about this new Office 2010 is this zoom feature. You can zoom in and out, which I think is really nice in a real quick way. Just this little slide bar here. So that's a really nice feature there. I think that kind of covers the some of the main changes uh, in Outlook or in, in uh, Power, well, I can't get it right today, in Excel. And, you know, the, the big ones are the ribbon interface and the um, quick access toolbar are, are some major changes that you're going to have to get used to. And then this backstage view. Uh, so, you know, it's one of those things you kind of got to determine, do the features. Uh, really merit the the cost of the new software and in some ways I think yeah it kind of does I think the software is better and uh, I'll do some more presentations on, on deeper features soon I just wanted to let this be sort of a general overview of some of the new things that you're going to see when you order uh, off